federal government is trying to hand out free, no strings attached money to about 145,000 troops who were forced to stay on duty after the 9 11 attacks. But the Pentagon is having a really tough time convincing troops and vets that it's not a scam. Last year, Congress set aside more than $500 million in retroactive pay for troops who were stop lost. That's a controversial emergency measure used by the Pentagon to keep deployed units in the field. Critics have compared it to a backdoor draft. One soldier says his recruitment officer made it seem like a long shot. Basically made it sound like if World War III had popped off, then it would be activated. But it, yeah, he said, there's no chance. Don't worry about it. Just sign right here. I think it's dishonest. I really don't feel if somebody wants to be at war and somebody wants to go, then let them go. But if they've done their four years, they've been like, okay, I've signed a contract for four years. I'm done. But soldiers are now eligible for back payments of $500 each for each month of involuntary service. That comes out to an average lump sum of between $3,500 and $3,800. But to get the cash, the application has to be submitted by October 21st. That's one month from tomorrow. And as of the end of August, more than $324 million was unclaimed. So the Pentagon is scrambling to track down about tens of thousands of eligible veterans. They've even asked for help from the Commander-in-Chief. I know there's been some confusion and skepticism out there. Some veterans think this is some sort of gimmick or scam, or that it's a way for the government to call you back to service. Nothing could be further from the truth. As your Commander-in-Chief, I'm here to tell you that this is no gimmick or trick. You worked hard. You earned this money. It doesn't matter whether you were active or reserve, whether you're a veteran who experienced stop loss or the survivor of a service member who did. If your service was extended, you are eligible. Well, the military has mailed letters, flooded Facebook, sent out Twitter alerts, but the message doesn't seem to be getting through. Tom Tarantino is an Iraq veteran and a legislative associate for Iraq and Afghanistan vets. He's joined me from D.C. So, Tom, why is it so hard to get these thousands of vets, thousands of vets rather, to apply for this money? Well, it's hard to reach out to vets. You know, vets don't all live in one town or in one community. They're all over the place. Uh, we've gotten a little under, I think, half who are eligible to apply, but we really got to push to get that other half. You know, as you said, this is free money, and this is money, this is their hard-earned overtime pay in a time when the economy's bad and veteran unemployment is very low. Now, why does very so... Very high, I'm sorry. Yeah, very high. And, and why do so many of these men and women um, think that this is a scam? Well, I, I don't know if they actually think this is a scam. I mean, you're always going to have those outliers, but, uh, you know, it does seem a little too good to be true. This is something that... Our government has not done very well before, but you know, Congress and the veterans community came together uh, a couple years ago and decided, you know what, veterans and military service members deserve their overtime pay. Being deployed is a hardship. Being held past your contract is even more of a hardship. So let's give them their overtime pay. You get paid when you work overtime, so should they. And like I said before, in a tough economic time, this is something that we can do to help our service members battle high unemployment. Uh, we can help them, we can get them their stop loss pay. So you need to go to defense.gov slash stop loss and apply before October 21st. Yeah, there's something psychological definitely going on here. There's a huge mistrust because that's a lot of money. And as you pointed out, vets are out of work. It's a horrible economy. You would think, wow, they'd be right in there, you know, getting this nice lump sum of cash. Where has, what, what, what happened? Where, where was the mistrust uh, built? Well, especially if you've been stop lost, some vets feel like they were a little bit cheated. Hmm. Uh, even though, you know what, they sucked it up, they drove on, they did their duty. Uh, so obviously, you know, when you leave service, you're going to feel like you want to stay away. You just don't want to be bothered. And so you may not be paying attention to the normal avenues that the Department of Defense uh, or the veterans community be using to get to you. So that's why it was so important that the commander in chief stepped up and, and really tried to hit it hard and hit it, you know, hit it home. Uh, Tom, what you know, happens to the money if they don't claim it? Uh, it goes away. You know, it, it was written in for only one year, and you have one year to apply for this allowance. So there's a couple things that everyone out there can do. First of all, if you know a vet or if you know anyone who's been in the military, ask them if they've been stop lost, and if they say yes, then tell them to go to the website. Tell them to apply before October 21st.
Got it. And and what what exactly is the government doing to try and re you said it's really tough to track down a lot of these vets. So what's being done to track down these troopers that deserve this money? Mm -hmm. Well, the DOD's been pretty comprehensive over the last year. They've sent out postcards to everybody in their records who they think has been held under a stop loss order. They've sent out mass emails. They've they've been on Facebook and Twitter. They've reached out to organizations like IAVA uh, to reach out to our members. They've done live chats on our social network community of veterans. They've talked to the American Legion and the VFW and everyone just to get the word out that if you've been stop lost, you might have some money coming to you. Got it. Tom Tarantino, thanks so much for your time. We want those men and women to get the money they deserve. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Kara.